Hello, you know what time it is, my lovely ladies and gentlemen. It's time for some more Mega Vice Wars War Room. Today, we're going to be playing on Buckler Isle versus Ricard. And we're going to be using the CO, which we unlocked last time, which is Fulter. He is perfect for this map. Uh, I'm not going to say this is one of my original ideas. I saw Cartal play this War Room and he also used Fulter. I will strike at the heart of your defenses. Uh, that should motivate my men nicely. The reason why Folter is so strong on this map is because uh, it's a very small map. Rickard starts with bases on the top, but he also starts with bases at the bottom here, so he surrounds you very quickly, which means engagements are going to be taken like as early as day three. And this is where Folter really shines, because, again, he has that constant 30% firepower increase. And Rickard's infantry are fairly weak, because it's hard for him to get any notable bonuses out of his uh, low movement unit, which infantry are. So, Fulter just kind of wrecks Rickard in the capturing phase right here. And I'm going to start by capping these two properties. There's a very good reason behind that. Rickard likes to spam Battlecopters early on, so I want to get these two cities uh, before a Battlecopter comes in to harass me. Uh, I think he, he tends to build one on day three, which is pretty common. Uh, but yeah, Fulter is insane on this map. He does have a power which deals global damage to himself, but it's usually not going to come in until the map is won. If you play your map, if you play your cards correctly here, you can completely overrun Rickard with this 30% firepower increase. Take his two bases away from him, and then just assault his HQ, and there's very little he can do about it. The AI, generally speaking, is not very good at not base locking itself. Uh, it's a bit annoying, uh, but it's not just it's not just coded very well to deal with that. Now on on this turn, Rickard always builds a battlecopter, and he'll send it straight towards your base. So it's definitely worth it to base skip to get an anti air out, because he's just gonna suicide that Battlecopter right into your units, and that's very good, because that's a lot of income he's losing out on early there. As you can see right there, that Battlecopter has the aggressive AI, the aggressive stupid AI, which means it just moves towards the enemy at max speed, or it moves over a city. I don't know why it does it, it's really weird. Now, on this day, you wanna base skip again to get out a tank to counter this anti air with, and... Generally speaking, uh, I prefer to try and pull back a little bit here. You can also just attack, but that you you want to make sure that you are in range of your tank. So I'm actually going to do this, I think. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do this. And then we're going to move down here and kill this infantry as well. And that means that Rickard will place this entire straight in range of our tank. There we go. That should be a dead... Uh, I think that might be a dead on tire. Either a dead on tire or it's going to be at 1 HP. Yeah, and also he left both of his bases open for us to cap. So that's what you want to do on this map. You just want to go balls to the walls with the bases. And he built another Battlecopter here. So what we're going to do is we're going to move our on tire out of range of the Battlecopter. So he suicides it again into our on tire. And again, you can just, you can just completely steamroll the AI due to the way it plays here. So, uh, of course, he's gonna come down on the side there. Oh, no, actually, he's playing smartly with his Battlecopter again. Okay. Alright, he's moving it out of range of our entire so it has the defensive AI, where it kind of tries to avoid units. Okay. Not entirely sure how the AI dictates. Yeah, So, the, but this tank, by the way, had the stupid AI, as you can see right here. So, it moved straight into my range. Really stupid. Now, I'm gonna actually do this. And then we're going to move a tank over here. Ah, we should just kill the Empire, I think, so he doesn't repair and come back to bite us. Capturing the city, I don't think it, there's any point to it. Uh, it may be. Uh, I'm probably just going to get attacked. So maybe I should just interrupt the cap instead. Yeah, I think that's probably for the best. There we go. Now he's built a rocket. Indirects are terrible for Rickard because they will never get any bonuses whatsoever. They're stuck at 10, minus 10%, because, of course, an indirect cannot move and shoot in the same turn. There were some unique COs that tried to have that in their toolkit, like the move and shoot indirect unit kind of build. Uh, I don't think Ephraim was able to program it. It's a very tough thing to program, because it's just not how the unit is supposed to be used at all. Uh, it's just, there's no code in the game that allows for something like that. Maybe if you do, like, very advanced ASMR hacking or something. And yeah, I know I say ASMR as a joke. I know that's not what it's called. But, um, uh, anyway. Let's continue capping these properties. I could try a luck roll here. And we have 12k right now. He continues building Battlecopters, which is very good for us. I'm just gonna get some tanks out and some infantry. And we are just going to roll him up on both sides. Will he pop his power? Nope. He's going to save up for his cavalry charge. And 
you can see that 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 those battle copters they are nothing but a drain on this income. It's kind of hilarious, honestly. And, uh, yeah, we can go within the minimum range, but not without placing ourselves in range of the mech. So let's not do that. Let's, uh, let's play it safe. The, what is the S rank limit again? It's 18 days, so it should be fairly simple for us to get this done. Again, I would say, especially if you play as Holter, this is definitely one of the easier war room maps. Just due to the way Rickard moves his units, like... He just suicides unit after unit into your range. It It's honestly very satisfying to play, but I think this is the stupidest I've ever seen the AI be in Advanced Wars, and that's saying a lot. I've seen the AI do some dumb shit over the years. We might just be able to route him before our power comes in, we'll see. Uh, I also, I need to check something actually. Can I build missiles to bait? I think I can. Oh my god. One, two, three, four, I can. I actually can build... Okay, I am totally doing that. That is hilarious. I don't care. I am so doing that. <laughs> I am so doing that. I'm gonna give this Battlecopter an infantry to attack to lure it out. And then I'm placing the missile here and I'm just gonna constantly shoot down the Battlecopter. That is like the dream. That is the fucking dream scenario right here. Uh, getting, a, getting a missile in range of the opposing enemy's airport. That is like... It doesn't get better than that, ladies and gentlemen. Now, we are reaching our power soon, so... We don't want to take unnecessary engagements. Like, I might not even go for the... Uh... Yeah, there's too many mechs here. I'm gonna play it cool until I get more units to push with. Because if I push forward now, I just have to activate my power and shave 10% off my entire army. And I don't want to do that. That doesn't sound very enjoyable to me, so we're gonna leave it at that. We're just gonna stay on the outskirts of his range, out of range of his mechs as well. So one thing to keep in mind, yeah, he always, he loves going for the infantry. Is he gonna build another battle core? Oh, a fighter, okay. That is interesting. So I don't think I can get this missile on the city this turn. No, I cannot, so... I think it's probably wise to pop my power. Yeah, I think it's probably wise to pop my power. I could save it. I mean, if I'm not, if I don't plan to take that many engagements this turn. Uh Well, one thing you do have to remember though, always finish your caps before popping your power. I think it's probably worth it to pop my power. I said move move move. But that's a big that's a big no-no like whenever you uh, when if you're camping camp first then pop your power So I think I might be able I'm not entirely sure, but I think I might be able to get his rocket here. Oh Yeah, I can throw ah uh, no, Maybe I'm not entirely sure actually No, I can't get it close though but that's still cool. Uh, all right, let's get ourselves another missile. Uh, it's not good. I'm, I'm just I'm doing it for the lulz. I think it's kind of hilarious if I'm gonna be completely honest. And let's base block here. Take a shot at the transport. And there we go. I think we can win fairly quickly right now because as soon as we lock down the last base, then we have both of the airports locked down, so no more units will be able to come true. And here comes the cavalry charge. For the glory of Green Arthur! Bam, 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 bam. Now, if this was a human player, he could have, like, spammed a bunch of recons out of his right base. And, like, okay, actually, no, there's tanks in front. He could have built, like, two tanks. Okay, Rickard. And he builds another... Am I ever going to be able to lock down that airport? I'm actually not sure. Okay, well that's kind of annoying. Uh, let's put it over here instead, I guess. Oh my god, missiles, why are you so slow? Why are you so slow? I actually need a... Uh, ooh. I don't know what he'll go for here, if he'll go for my tank or whatnot. Also, one thing you have to be aware of with Colters, when you use his normal power, it will drain his own fuel. 
So you want to be very cautious. Uh, looks like he's... Yeah, he's building infantry right now because he's reaching the minimum infantry limit. So the more infantry we attack, the more infantry he's going to build. You know what? Screw the caps. And that was my Discord notification. I am so sorry, guys. There we go. Always annoying when, uh, when you hear a Discord notification and you think it's yours, but it's just a person streaming or recording. Forgot to set myself to busy. And yeah, I th think I can win with the forces I have right now. I'm just gonna build infantry. How are we doing? I've lost two units, so my technique ranking should be fairly good. Ah, beautiful. Oh, he moved back for repairs. That's hilarious. Okay, you know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna put this missile on this base. I don't care anymore. I don't care anymore. Boom. And then I'm gonna put this one here. Yeah, because now now I'll have the bis the missiles completely locked down. Yeah, you can, you can see my tanks are starting to run out of fuel now. It's a little scary. But I think I can... Yeah, I'm not gonna get my power again, I'm fairly certain, so... We can do this. I have 28k. Holy shit, that's a lot of money. That is a lot of money. Let's just get another missile up. Why not? Missiles are great. And we need... Uh, we do need to destroy this missile over here. So, let's play some units in range. I don't want the Bottlecopter to attack me. There we go. What day are we? Day 13. Okay, I actually need to hurry it up a little bit if I want to route him. Because I'm not going to do an HQ cap. I'm going to go for the route. Oh. Ooh, that's bad. Oh, that's really bad, actually. I don't have an anti-iron range here. Ooh. Okay. Very good that I put the missile here. I appreciate that. Okay. Uh, I got to be very ca cautious right now because... You see, day 14. I need to lure that Bottlecopter towards me somehow. I need to lure that Bottlecopter towards me somehow. I'm not going to destroy the transports because it's being repaired. Okay, that infantry is gone. Hopefully he continues finishing off weakened infantry and he won't do anything about that base. Okay, I'm gonna try and... Oh, I gotta be careful. Well, that doesn't cost fuel outside of Fog of War, but still. I have to be careful. And looks like I popped my power too. I think I'm just... I really don't want to pop my normal power again. If I do that, then I'm gonna lose all my fuel. <laughs> okay, good. He's going for the kills. That's very good. Yeah, I think I am probably just gonna leave this power unchecked, I think. Day 15. Okay, it's actually it's gonna be a lot more closer than I would have liked. It's gonna be a lot more closer than I would have liked. Let's build some more missiles. There we go. And some more infantry. And we have to kill this this one too at some point. I can just base lock the airports. I don't know why I'm bothering with this. And then I'm gonna combine here actually. And yeah, I'm pretty sure that should be a kill tomorrow. Unless this Bottlecopter does something. Day 17. Oh my god, Folter, why are you like this? Why are you like this, Folter? Why are you like this, Folter? Come on, just... Okay, I I'm gonna make sure he doesn't go south. My god, this guy. Look at all the missiles. <laughs> Look at all the missiles I have! <laughs> this is so stupid, oh my goodness. If he really wanted to troll me right now, he could have just moved into the corner. He could have just moved into the corner. Alright, I'm gonna I'm shoot these guys down. Neither man nor machine can withstand my something something something. Rip fuel, that's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, that's gonna really screw over your fuel reserves right there. Look at that, these infantry have like 21 fuel right now. But, that will allow me to do this, which is kind of satisfying, not gonna lie. Oh, I forgot to build units. Hope I don't lose on the technique ranking. Okay, perfect 300. My troops know no match. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen. So that will unlock Rickard. We're going to go purchase him and look at his color scheme. So the reason, by the way, why I'm going up and down like this, in case some of you are very perceptive, is because I actually have a pillow that I stand on sometimes. Or not a pillow, it's like a mat. Very good for your feet. Uh, if you want to stand for extended periods of time, you need a kind of soft mat to stand on, or else your feet are going to hurt a lot. And knowing you guys, you don't like when feet hurt, am I right? Oh, that was the design room. That is not what I was going to do. Yeah, exit without saving. I was going to the model maps to go speak to Joan. Mopping him up out there. Let's go get Rickard. And let's go get his color scheme. Let's take a look at them, shall we? Man, I wish we could do, like, alternate skins. Wait! I just realized something. Can we not? I mean, aren't these just different PNGs images? Okay, first, let's take a look at them. Uh, okay, I like this one. That's a cool one. This one looks very similar. Oh, no, they're, they're, I can see they're a little different. Wow, that's an ugly color. Holy shit. Is that what they call, like, puke green? This one's cool, actually. I like this one a lot. Ooh. It looks like a World War II German officer. Huh. Uh, but yeah, I just realized something. Can we not create custom skins? Because these are just different image files, right? I just realized this. If if you, if we wanted to, we could create, like, Beach Rickard or something. I mean, of course, it would require a lot of work from Gatita Sexy, who I'm sure has done enough for the cycle already. I was just thinking, it'd be kind of cool. Just a, just a thought. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is the War Room map. Buckler Isle. Dealt with. Up next, we're going to be fighting against Walther on the Wetlands Camp. And uh, I already know who I want to use for this one. We'll see if I end up doing it or not. Uh, it feels a bit cheesy, but I kind of want to do it. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.